everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be trying something from Norway, thanks to my friend Sharon. I've got a dewy look to me today and that is because it's so hot here today. The humidity here has just been disgusting. Also, I've got issues with my dress today. I can't wear this out in public. I can't do it up at the back. One, because I can't reach it and two, because this just doll isn't going to fit into it. But it's also one of those dresses that as you walk, it rides on up and eventually it wouldn't be a dress anymore, it would become a top. Oh, I actually went to school with Sharon. It kind of freaks me out when someone that I actually know from my real life watches my videos because I don't expect them to. It's just like singing. I would prefer that would be a group of people that I didn't know rather than people I know. I don't know where I was going. She sent me a letter Oh, it comes in a gorgeous little tin that I will keep because I'm a freak. I'm just opening this off camera because it has my address on it. That is a Christmas card. It's not Christmas anymore, but my videos are all over the shop, let's face it. Dear Tamara, it's so much fun to be able to write to you after so long. She's said some lovely things in this letter here. Let's get on to trying these. Cloudberry sweets, they're called sugar-free Arctic candy and they're from Norway. Don't you just love the little tin that this comes in? That's delightful. Straight away they smell delicious. What is a cloudberry? I don't really understand what fruit this is. Is a cloud, oh gosh, here we go with the stupid questions. Is a cloudberry an actual berry or is it just a made up berry? I don't know. I probably should have looked it up beforehand, but I didn't. So here they are, beautiful little sweets that come in a plastic bag. It's actually quite a tight, oh, I love this tin, by the way. I just can't get over it. Yes, pull these out of my hand to give you a better look. Gorgeous. I love the color of these. It makes me feel calm. Mmm. That's nice. Wow. Weird thing is that these remind me of my childhood when I wasn't a little girl in Norway. I've never had them before in my life, but they remind me of my childhood. Mmm. They're beautiful and sweet and fruity, but what I like about these too is, is that they don't taste sugar-free. You know how sugar-free things have that after poisonous taste sometimes? I go, oh yum, that's nice, but I am eating poison. This isn't the case with these ones. I'm not eating poison. I don't feel like that. They taste a little bit like peach. I don't know exactly what fruit I'm eating right now. Let me know in the comments below if you're from Norway, because I don't know. I'm gonna crunch it. Mmm. That's good. It's always good to eat something that doesn't taste poisonous, isn't it? And I'm assuming that after you open them, you keep them in the open tin. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe now it's poisonous. <laughs> Oops! I think sugar-free candy, very delicious. Really love the cloudberry sweets. I'd just like to say a big thanks and hi to my friend Sharon. I really do appreciate you sending me these cute little sweets. I love the sweets, but I also love the tin. And in the comments below, if you could please thank my friend Sharon, because without her, this taste test would not be possible. If you want to support me and my channel, and please do, I need all the support I can get. It's a real struggle on YouTube now. People don't get your uploads, they don't get notified, you don't get seen in the search. You can search taste tests and not find me. Because I'm buried under massive, great, big channels with millions of subscribers. I mean, I can't compete with that, can I? I feel like it's one of those things that's out of my control. I just change the algorithm all the time. I feel like they actually get my channel and they go, so this is Cheeky Tam's channel. How can we make it so that these videos get absolutely buried? Buried in the search so no one can find them and throw them into the abyss. Uh, well done. <laughs> They've done it. I continue to make my videos because I enjoy making them. And this is what I have to keep reminding myself of because I've seen a lot of smaller YouTubers just disappear. We're all on YouTube for different reasons and obviously I'm still here. I'm like a YouTube Acropolis survivor. They can't stop me. My channel not only has plateaued but it's just sort of going down. Down, 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 down. For me now, upload day is a difficult day. It's good and bad. I get to see all your lovely comments and I really love the support and everything but then of course you get people unsubscribe when you upload. So it's a bit of sweet these days for a lot of YouTubers. So if you are subscribed to some smaller YouTubers, give them lots of support and love because they really do need the encouragement. A lot of the smaller YouTubers these days, they're doing videos for the love of it, for a hobby because you don't make that much money from YouTube, you really don't. Thank you so much for watching everyone, I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful week, see you next time. Bye.